Hey guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having an amazing Christmas Eve. So I am sharing all of the wax that I have melted through bags, like partially of, but not finished. Um, if you guys have not yet checked out my complete wax empties video, I will leave that link in the description below. I am hoping to have these both up around the same time. So they're gonna be like back to back videos, but I just could not see possibly fitting all of the wax into one video. And then also next week, you guys will be seeing my Project Use It Up finale and all of my non-wax empties that I was able to finish in the month of December. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in to this massive bag that I have here of wax. So the first thing that I'm going to actually, no, no, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this bag here from Salt Mountain Melts. And this is in milk and, sorry, yeah, milk and cookies for Santa. So this scent is incredible. It is um, eggnog, Mrs. Claus cookies, and sugar cookies. This I have going in my living room like layout right now. It is mixed between like a bulb warmer, a hot plate warmer, and a scentsy warmer. And it is performing incredibly. It smells so good in here. It is like a super, super rich, buttery, like drinkable eggnog type scent. Um, I would say the sugar cookies is definitely there, but it's not like a predominantly bakery scent. It's more of just like a super rich, creamy, sweet scent. I love the scent. And I've tried quite a few eggnog scents this year, but I would say that this one might be my top favorite. Um, this one and um, Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, eggnog from Rose Girl scent, that one and this one are the best two that I've tried. So little spoiler because I'm going to talk about a lot more eggnog scents, but that one is fantastic. Um, another scent that I have melted, um, this is actually something that was in my warmers yesterday in the same room. This is Rocky Mountain Christmas, and this is from Salt Mountain Melts as well. The notes on this one are fresh balsam, sugar cookies, and buttercream. And I remember when I hauled this one and when a lot of other people were getting this in their hauls and filming videos on it, um, they were talking a lot about this being like almost a green type scent. Like it almost smelled slightly like, like a grass note. Um, and then once I watched those videos and I smelled it for the first time, I was like, yeah, I do pick up on that. But I will say this, once this is going in your warmers, once I had this melting, I could still pick up on that like slightly green grassy note that I smelled on cold, but it did something where it just became like much more realistic. So it wasn't, it was, it was just like such a sweet realistic tree bakery scent. Um, it was really interesting. So I would say that this is something that like I didn't think would be good, but definitely was something that I did enjoy once it was warmed up. I still have quite a lot to go. So my thoughts are still a bit up in the air if it's like favorite worthy. I don't think it's favorite worthy, but I'm, I'm not sure if it would be something that I would like possibly repurchase more of next year or if it's something that I would be like, no, I could do without it. So I'm still kind of up in the air about the scent, but Rocky Mountain Christmas, it is a very like realistic, very green tree type scent. Um, this one here is Santa Baby, and this is one that made it in my favorites category for the like top 10 fragrances for Christmas. Um, and this is Vanilla Bean, Creamy Marshmallow, and Pink Sugar Crystals. This is a scent from Zape. I will say, I feel like last year it was a bit stronger. So I'm not sure if it's just because of the night that I melted this. Um, I didn't leave the, <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy. I didn't leave the living room. Like usually in my house, I'll like walk between rooms and I can kind of pick up on the different scents that are going. Cause I, I don't melt throughout the entire layout for the most part. I, I'll like do living rooms, a different scent, kitchens, a different scent, bedrooms are a different scent, and bathroom is a different scent. Um, so I'm not sure if it's just because it, it was during a movie night that Tom and I were like binge watching movies that night and like we stayed like in the blankets in our living room and didn't move that maybe I just became nose blind to this one. But I feel like I remember this being much stronger. That being said, I still could smell it. It just, I don't know if it was as strong as last year. Like I felt like it was like a 10 out of 10 last year for me. Um, maybe it wasn't, I can't remember. I think it was pretty strong last, like as far as like, I'm saying this because I'm wondering if it was just to my nose, it was so strong because I didn't like pink sugar as much then and now I'm getting more used to it. You guys, I don't know, I'm talking at my butt. Um, so 
This one I liked. I do really like the scent. I still stand by this one being an amazing pink sugar blend because I'm so picky about pink sugar, but this one is really good. So Santa Baby, I still recommend. I just feel like compared to last year, this was a little bit softer. I don't know. Anyway, um, this one, I'm going to have to melt more of this because I was kind of sad about this one. This is Ginger Nog, and this is from uh, Zape as well. So this is creamy eggnog, gingerbread cookies, and vanilla frosting. And on cold, you guys, this one is like incredible because you get like that rich gingerbread, like buttery, realistic gingerbread cookie scent mixed with the creamy, creamy, rich eggnog. Um, but then when I melted this one, I feel like I, it didn't, it wasn't, I couldn't really smell too much. Like I was like, yeah, it's kind of like a sweet, creamy scent, but it wasn't like blowing my mind. Um, so I still have a bit left to go. I want to put this one in my melting basket for this week and give it another shot. And then I'll come back to you guys and let you know my thoughts. But on the first melt, I had the spread between three warmers in my, in my living room as well. And I was like, I can't smell it. So I don't know. Um, I'm really hoping that the next time I melt this, I'll come back to you guys and be like, it blew my mind. But for now, that's where we are. And I just, I'm always completely honest with you guys because why wouldn't I be? Uh, anyway, so White Christmas. This is Zape, um, which is Fir Trees Balsam and Dreaming of a Dot Dot Dot. So I'm not White Christmas. Um, this one was so, so good. So there was another scent that I just finished a bag of from Zape, and I think it was called Christmas Eve, and I loved that one. And then I realized that I think that the same, like I think it's the specifically her Fir Tree Oil, because her fur tree oil is in this scent. I think it was in the Christmas Eve scent that I love. And I think it's, I know it's also in my favorite scent, Tinseltown. I'm pretty sure I just, I'm obsessed with that specific oil that she uses, the fur tree, because it just smells like a super sweet, realistic tree scent to me. And I love it. So I 100% would repurchase this. I'm really happy I have some more left. It is like the most authentic outdoor, bring indoor kind of a tree scent. Um, love this one. Love it. Um, this one here is Blankets by the Fire. And this is also from Zape. I melted a ton of Zape this month. This is Chunky Wool Blankets, Charred Pine, and Balsam. And I feel like I could smell the pine more than the balsam in this. It was like specifically kind of like that pine tree scent. Like it's almost like the bit, like a bit more sappy, like a sappy tree scent mixed with the woolen blanket scent, which I'm not sure what the woolen blanket really is but this one was really really good too this is this is another favorite I would say this one and the white Christmas and the Christmas Eve and Tinseltown I would say are all in the same realm for me I just really like this um and I think because of the charred note from the pine like the charred pine it did give it a bit of like a smoky like a depth to it it's like a clean smoky tree scent if that makes sense. It was really good. I loved this one. So Blankets by the Fire from Zape, 100% would repurchase that. Here's another weird Zape one that I don't know. Um, this one is Christmas Cobbler, and this is Spiced Apple, Baked Peaches, and Buttery Pie Crust. Something about this almost smells like a bit like, um, it, when I first smelled it, I was like, yeah, it smells like apples and like peaches and just like juicy, realistic. But then the more I smell, I'm like, it almost smells like when you go to an apple orchard and all the, like the apples are kind of like, this is going to sound really sad, but almost like rotting on the ground. Like, I, mind you, it smells like very realistic, but like almost like, like rotting, like past their prime kind of apples. Um... But it's weird because it, that that scent to me, it comes and goes. So like sometimes I smell it and I, I like it. Sometimes I smell it and I don't. When I warmed this up, it was not like super strong. Um, I'm going to stick this one, like I mentioned the other one, I'm gonna stick this in the ginger knot in my melting basket coming up to give it another shot so I can come back and, and give you guys a definitive like, yes, I liked it, no, I didn't kind of thing. But right now, I'm a little bit up in the air. It wasn't super strong, and it definitely did like this weird, sour, old apple scent to me. So, I don't know. Um, um, and, um, um, another Zape scent. 
You guys, I don't know what's going on with my nose. I thought I didn't like peppermint, but maybe, maybe this, some scents win me over even when I can detect the peppermint. So this is Sleigh Ride, and this is marshmallows, peppermint, and pine trees. Um, I don't know. This is totally weird, but I'm just gonna put it out there. She um, has a scent called, why am I blanking on the name of it? Yuletide from Zape. It's a body care. I don't think Yuletide was ever released in wax form, I think. However, when I had this melting in my bedroom, I had this melting in my kitchen the first time and I felt like it got a little bit like lost in translation. It was a little, I didn't, it was a little, a little too spread apart. So I was like, maybe it needs a smaller space. I put it in my bedroom. You guys, it smelled just like the Yuletide body care. I even had to be like, did, did I put on that body care and, and blank or did Tom put on the body care and like walk around this room? But it smelled to me just like the Yuletide body care. Um, this one is still available. So if you like her Yuletide scent, pick this one up and let me know if it's just my nose and I am crazy that I smell like that same like vanilla e balsam type of scent or if you guys can smell it too because I'm thinking maybe the pine trees and the marshmallow co combination is what's making it almost like that sweet tree scent. Um, peppermint, I could pick up on a little bit, but it definitely wasn't that predominant note in it. Um, so Sleigh Ride, I would say if you like Yuletide, give this one a try because I feel like it was kind of similar. I don't know. On cold, it doesn't smell like it would be. Once you warm it up, because on cold, it's mostly peppermint. Once you warm it up, that pine tree comes out. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. Anyway, um, I don't know if I have any more Zape. Oh, I do. I have um, another clamshell in Zape, and this is um, Caramelized Praline Latte. And there's somebody walking by my house right now. Caramelized, <laughs> Caramelized Praline Latte. I use only one cube of this, but the day that I used this, I had it in my kitchen, and it was so strong. It lasted forever. It smells just like a really, really rich, nutty coffee scent so you can't go wrong this one i definitely um i'm happy i have more of and if it's available next year i'll probably pick up more because i really liked it if i have finished it all by then um i have a destination wax scent and this is the first new like clamshell that i've used from destination wax so from my most recent haul um it should have definitely been cured yeah because it was in october pour but you guys, I, this was so light. This is um, spiked eggnog. I don't know if I even said that. Which the notes on spiked eggnog are vanilla eggnog spiked with rum, clove, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and topped whipped cream. This was super, super light to me. It was mostly like the spices with a bit of the creaminess. But even then, it was just such a light scent. So I was kind of bummed out about this one. I'm gonna try to give that one another shot too. That one, the ginger nog and the Christmas cobbler are all gonna go back in my melting basket and possibly the Rocky Mountain Christmas too. You guys, I have a lot that I'm like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna hop back into some salt mountain melts because I guess I didn't see that there was another bag from them here. Ah, uh, two more from them. So let's talk some more salt mountain melts. This one here is um, Pine Ridge Farms, which is a take on the Bath and Body Works. Perfect, is it Perfect Christmas? I think is what it is. Um, yes. So it is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. I had this one going in my office and I wasn't in that room a ton. So I can't give you like a full blown, like how long it lasted kind of a thing. But, um, this one did smell very similar to me to the perfect Christmas scent from Bath and Body Works. So if you're looking for that scent in wax form, um, this one is really good. So just a classic. Christmassy type of scent. Moving on to one I'm obsessed with, obsessed with, obsessed with. So I was obsessed when I hauled this. I was obsessed on cold. Then I melted it and I had this in a tea light warmer in my dining room, which is right between like two other rooms in my house. So sometimes that scent, if there's a candle going in there, sometimes it's kind of just like one of those like break up the two scents that are going in my living room and my kitchen type of scent. But this thing, it was a little, like just a sliver in a tea light warmer and it lasted forever and it threw and it threw and it overpowered all the other scents in the house and I need this in loaves. It was incredible. Um, notes on By the Fireplace are chestnut cloves, smoky wood, vanilla, neroli. 
And this um, is a dupe for By the Fireplace from Rep Replica. I need to get that perfume because I'm so obsessed with this wax. It's amazing. Amanda, if you are just so happening to watch this, I don't know, I'm gonna message you anyway and be like, can you please bring this back? Please, I will, I will cry. Um, it is so good. And I know that other people like it because I've seen other people in the group posting about how much they like this scent. It's incredible. 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 Anyway, um, another incredible scent which everyone loves and I love. And I'm not going to talk too long about it because I feel like everyone loves the scent for good reason. Christmas Eve Cookies in Cookie Land from Rose Girls. It is eggnog, donut holes, cookies, marshmallow smoothie. If you want a amazing performer, like for me at least, this is always an amazing performing wax. It never lets me down. It's a tried and true. I love this one. It is just a super, super rich bakery eggnog scent. And I love it. You cannot go wrong with that scent, in my opinion. Um, another scent you cannot go wrong with is um, Zape's Tinseltown. You guys know this is a favorite. It's fur line treats and caramel cider. I'm also not going to speak for hours on this, but I did use some of this in scoopable form, and I loved it. It was like the best day that I melted this. So, um, so happy. Tinseltown's amazing. Another scent that I use some more of from Zape in scoopable form. This is Noel which is sugared spruce, molasses cookies, vanilla cookies, and fern balsam. On cold, this smells kind of weird. It's kind of weird on cold. But once you melt this, it really just smells like a delicious, sweet molasses cookie in a Christmas tree somewhere in the background. I love this one. It's really, really good. So happy that I have some of that scoopable. Um, I have a scent from um, Teddy Bee's and Christmas Macchiato. This is a fresh pine buttercream, vanilla waffle cone, espresso, and vanilla ice cream scent. So it is just like a tree and espresso, like coffee type scent. I, I like this one. I do. I just, I feel like there's something that comes across like, something's a little off about it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's because it was like a bit too sweet i wish it was just a bit more um I, I wish the espresso was a bit stronger because i feel like the buttercream and the vanilla ice cream made it like a little bit too sweet for me i wish it would have been a little bit more of the espresso but I, either way this was a really good performer and i did really enjoy it for what it was um so no complaints there just wish it was just like a tad bit more espresso um i have ton of rose girls let me talk about the things that are not rose girls first so i have a massive loaf here that i use quite a lot of so this is all that i have left of this loaf so i'm doing pretty good um i'm definitely still going to stick this one in my melting basket for this next month and try to use a little bit more of this just because i really don't want to hold on to this much wax another year because this is already pushing like a year and a half probably now. So um, anyway, this is Reindeer Nose. I don't even think I said it. Reindeer Nose from L3. And this is cherry vanilla, gooey marshmallows, marshmallows, and sugar cookies. This was much stronger last year, much stronger last year. So I don't know about the longevity of like how long L3 Bakery lasts, but I'm just gonna try to like melt through all of my L3 Bakery um, because I'm a little bit worried because this was definitely not up to where it was last year. I remember melting this and being obsessed last year. But then I melted it this year and I was like, eh, it's a little bit lighter. So did I like the scent? Yes. It reminds me of my mom's homemade maraschino cherry cookies, which um, I know I can't remember. Maybe Christina left a comment and she was like, what is the recipe for that? Or like the, yeah, the recipe for that. And I was like, I gotta ask my mom, but I totally forgot to ask her. So I'm I'm gonna get that recipe to you. So, um, but the, it's like a, delicious like maraschino cherry cookie that's what this smells like so i really like it but the longevity or like the performance from last year to this year dropped significantly so ugh, i don't know um this one here is cozy cardigan and this is a scentsy clamshell i melted four cubes of this throughout my downstairs this lasted like three or four days i was like i honestly was at the end i was just like I gotta pull it out. I didn't want to pull it out because I really liked it, but I was like, I need to pull it out because I'm, I am a person that needs a lot of variety. I can't melt the same thing for four days in a row. It drives me insane. Um, so I was like, I need to pull this out. So um, I just like have to cut these cubes or do something like do less or I'm not even sure because it just kept going and going and going. That being said, cozy cardigan. 
you guys, this was incredible. This was so good. Like, uh, I'll leave the notes here if I can figure it out. I'm sure you guys all know the notes on this one, but it is such a good scent. Um, I loved it. It smelled, I think there's rose in this, which I was terrified of at first, and that's why I didn't pick this up originally, but it doesn't smell like roses at all. It just smells like really fresh, clean laundry with like um, perfume. Somebody had like a really nice, rich, expensive perfume on and they also had like like a fuzzy pink shawl or something i don't know i don't know you guys it smells pretty it's a very pretty floral um warm comforting sweet i love it that one's a definite repurchase that's gonna go in my club so i like it um i have another scent that i'm gonna put in my melting basket for next month or this week this is appalachian mountain cabin this is a scent that has been brought back um or like has been reformulated and like made a dupe of from in teddy bees so this is from gypsy row no longer in business teddy bees has the same exact scent so um if this sounds good to you i don't know or if you have tried this one and you didn't know that there was another dupe teddy bees has it anyway um appalachian mountain cabin really really good scent i need to finish this bag it's a 2019 so that needs to go anything with a teen at the end needs to go <laughs> um so that one's really fantastic and then all of this is rose girls so i did some blending this month and i ended up blending um this one here which is vanilla sandalwood and I actually had it in my empties video. I had a pine cone scent from uh, Kay's. I melted this one and that pine cone scent because I wanted to try to see if I could do a recreation of the scent that I actually totally have here. So I wanted to use the vanilla sandalwood and the pine cone to recreate Blue December from Gypsy Row, which is no longer in business, but Blue December is one of my all time favorite scents. I love it, I'm so sad that I can no longer get it because I feel like the specific oils in this are definitely not the blend that I just try to recreate. However, for what it was, this was nice. I really do like Rose Girl's Vanilla Sandalwood scent. I've been really into um, kind of like the earthier scents lately. So I'm super excited that I was at least able to try and kind of dupe it. Um, even if it wasn't perfect, I melted. I didn't blend this one. I originally expected or thought that I would try to blend this one, but I stuck it in my melting basket because I love it so much. This is Sweet Pumpkin Pie from Rose Girls. I hope that this is more readily available or like I hope that this comes back sooner than fall because I want you guys to get your hands on this. I really, really like this scent. Um, it is just like the most rich creamy decadent pumpkin pie scent i found in vendor wax form super realistic and i love it so sweet pumpkin pie i just melted that in my own like during this month and i was in heaven i loved it um another scent that i melted on its own i thought that was a different one this is spruce willis i just melted this one on its own i didn't blend this with anything it is a fantastic um flannel mixed with a spruce scent and i love it you cannot go wrong there's something almost kind of like a sweet masculine about this. It's just, it's almost like a brighter and sweeter masculine. Um, and I did um, post on Rose Girl's Facebook page that I did something that was kind of similar to this scent. Um, and it was something that I kind of custom blended, but I personally just really love her woolen blanket set on its own. And I wanted to try to mix it with something, something. So I mixed woolen blanket and oak Christmas tree. And it kind of gave like a similar vibe to um, Spruce Willis. Like these are like cousins or like brothers maybe. Whereas Spruce Willis was much brighter and sweeter masculine tree. This one, um, because of the oak Christmas tree is like her house blend of like just a Christmas tree scent, which is very like the most realistic Christmas tree to my nose. Um, mixed with like the richness. I think that there's amber and cedar in the woolen blanket scent. This one was like a heavier, like a deeper, richer type of masculine tree scent to me. Um, I love this one. This is something that I'm going to continue to blend together just because I personally really liked it. If you guys have these, I definitely suggest trying it. Um, but I love the woolen blanket scent on its own and I love the oak Christmas tree scent on its own. But if you don't like either of those and you probably wouldn't like it, but together for me, it was a winner. 
Um, another scent that I am almost finished with, this is Christmas Past, which I think for the notes on this, I think it just says like a classic Christmas tree. And I want to say the Christmas Past is a singular scent fragrance oil. So um, this is not like a, a blend that Jenny did. Jenny did do the Oak Christmas Tree blend and she nailed it. She knocked it out of the park with this one. This, to my nose, smells much more like an authentic, realistic Christmas tree scent. Um, even though I know that that is something that's like a combination of a few tree scents blended together. Whereas this one is just a singular scent oil, but to my nose, this is like, there's something else to this. It's almost smoky, this um, Christmas past. It's almost like a smoky tree scent. Um, maybe there's cinnamon even in it. There must be, there's something more to this. I liked it, but I definitely don't love it. And this probably wouldn't be a repurchase, the Christmas past scent. Um, and then finally, I'm going to end it on this because this is one that completely changed my mind. Um, I say it all the time. I don't like mint. I don't like peppermint. I don't like peppermint. And I, I didn't think I did until I tried this, which this is Ice Palace from Rose Girls. Um, not to be confused with Snow Kingdom. So this is not the Mario Mini Melter Snow Kingdom, which I know is also like a vanilla peppermint type scent. This is Ice Palace, which is like a freshly fallen snow mint and vanilla or something. I think it's something like that. This is so good. I put this in my warmers um, and I, I always, because I'm crazy, I always like look at what other people think about certain scents on like the Facebook page. I'll like type in the name of the scent and I'll like look up what other people think. And I saw some people commenting that this was like really light for them. But this was so strong for me. And it wasn't like an overpowering strong peppermint. It was just like a very strong, creamy, sweet peppermint, but in the best way. It was so, so good. And I absolutely am going to happily finish this bag and hope that this comes back because I really liked it. So this is gonna go in my melting basket for next month as well. So that's it, you guys. That was all of the things that I melted but didn't finish leading up until Christmas. And I hope you are all doing well. I hope tomorrow is a wonderful day if you guys celebrate the holiday. And I hope you're all staying safe, happy, and healthy. Take care. Bye, guys.